Hello everyone! It's me again, Teacher Joanne. This tutorial is for Statistics and Probability, a subject which is intended for grade 11 senior high school students in the Philippines. For today's objectives, at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to illustrate random something and distinguishes between parameter and statistic. For today's lesson, we have sampling and sampling distribution. So first, let us define some terms. We have population. So the totality of subjects under consideration and the collection of all elements of interest. So for example, is the total number of students in Desmarinas Integrated High School. So that represents the population. Next, we have sample. So what is a sample? So the portion chosen from a population, the subset of the population. Example is, the total number of senior high school students at Dasmarinas Integrated High School. Next term, we have sampling. So what is sampling? So it is the process of taking samples. So a process of selecting a subset of individuals from the population to estimate the characteristics of the population. It can be probability or non-probability sampling. Then we have random sampling. So this refers to the sampling techniques under probability sampling in which each member of the population is given equal chance to be chosen as part of the sample. So an example of this is the lottery method, a draw lots, and use of random numbers. So the next term we have is parameter. So what is a parameter? It's the measurement or quantity that describes the population. And statistics, so the measurement or quantity that describes the sample. So that is the difference between parameter and statistics. So for parameter, it is mainly describing the population. And for statistic, it describes the sample. Then we have sampling distribution. It is the probability distribution of the statistic. So meaning it is a probability distribution of the sample. So let us have some example to better understand the difference between population and sample. So for number one, a survey of 1,000 Filipino households in Cavite found that 18% of the households own a computer. So what is the population for this one? So the population is all Filipino households in Cavite. So what is the sample? So the sample is the collection of 1,000 Filipino households that were surveyed. Next, number two, a recent survey of 2,625 elementary school children found that 28% of the children could be classified obese. So the population would be all elementary school students. And for the sample, the 2,625 elementary school children that were surveyed. Next, number three, the average weight of every sixth person entering the mall within three-hour period was 146 pounds. So the population here is all, all people entering the mall within the assigned three-hour period. And the sample is every sixth person entering the mall within the three-hour period.
Next, we have another example to better understand the difference between parameter and statistics. So for number one, a recent survey by the alumni of the La Salle University das Marinas indicated that the average salary of 10,000 of its 300,000 graduates was 125,000 pesos. So would this be parameter or statistic? So this would be statistics. So we are talking about 10,000 out of the 300,000 graduates that are surveyed. And number two, the average salary of all assembly line employees at Pure Foods is 330,000 pesos. So this would be a parameter. So it talks about all assembly line employees. Next, number three. The average late fee for 360 credit card holders of Banco de Oro was found to be 556.75. So this would also be a statistic. So it only talks about the 360 credit card holders that were examined. So not all, but only the 360 credit card holders. So next example, we would be identifying the population, the sample, the parameter, and the statistics. So in a daily inquirer poll, readers responded voluntarily to the question, do you consume at least one caffeinated beverage every day? So what is the population here? So that would be all the readers of Daily Inquirer. And what is the sample? So those who have volunteered to respond on the survey. And the population parameter. So the percent who have at least one caffeinated drink among all readers of Daily Inquirer. And for the statistic, the percent who have at least one caffeinated drink among those who responded to the survey. So you would notice so for the population and parameter, it says all readers of the daily inquirer. And for the sample, so it only talk about the volunteer and statistics also the same thing. Sample number four, so same thing. We would be identifying the population, the sample, parameter, and the statistics. So astronomers typically determine the distance to galaxy. So a galaxy is a huge collection of billions of stars. So by measuring the distances to just a few stars within it and taking the mean or the average of these distance measurements, So what is the population? So that will be all stars in the galaxy. And for the sample, so the few stars selected for measurements. Parameter is the average or mean of distances between all stars and the Earth. And for the statistics, that is the mean or average of distances between the stars in the sample and the Earth. Now let us check what have we learned. So identify the term described in each item. Number one. A measurement or quantity that describes the population. Number two, it is the totality of subjects under consideration. Number three, the measurement or quantity that describes the sample. 
Number four, the portion chosen from a population. And number five, the process of taking samples. Now, let us check your answers. Let's see if you got the correct answer. Number one is parameter. Number two, population. Number three, statistics. Number four is sample. And number five is sampling. So, I hope you got all the correct answers. Okay, so we're done for today and thank you very much for your time. I hope you learned a lot today. See you in our next lesson. Bye!